In this video, I'd like to show you how you can use uh, Radiant together with R Studio. So R Studio is not the same thing as R. R is the programming language, and R Studio is what we call an IDE. Um, it's an integrated development environment. So it has an editor, and it has a terminal window, and it can tell you something about what variables are in the environment. Uh, it can show you what files you have, and so on. So it's a very, very nice environment to, to write R code. Um, and so R is the programming language. R Studio is 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 probably the best uh, IDE, right? The best the best tool to use to write R code with, and then Radiant is built using using R. So uh, can you get the three to kind of play together? And the answer is yes. So uh, let me show you something that I have on my desktop. I have a state file here, or something that you're probably familiar with, and what uh, what I've done is I've set it up so that it, when I double click this, it's going to open up in R Studio. So how do I do that? On a Mac, you would check for a variable, uh, what is it going to open with? And so we can either choose to have it open in R or R Studio. And I'm going to choose R Studio. And in fact, I want that for all the, the uh, uh, R data sets on my, on my computer. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you could do the exact same thing on Windows. This is on, on a Mac. All right, so let's double click. And what then happens is that our student is going to ask me, do you want to load this file into the global environment? So let's click yes. And now what happens? It's just loaded in that, that uh, state file. And particularly the two components that make a state file work, which is one, a list of all the data sets, uh, which is called our data, and a list of all the settings, right, including the report and so on. So once this is loaded into our studio, if I now go to the add-ins menu, and again, this requires a very recent version of our studio and the latest version of Radiant. If I click on that, I can see different uh, versions of Radiant, the Radiant app, as well as an option to update Radiant to the latest version. So once you have this set up, once you've installed the latest version of Radiant as you would before, um, with information from the install page, then from then on, you can just click update Radiant to get the latest version. Right? So I'm gonna open up the analytics uh, um, application and that will automatically pull in these two lists so that we have basically the state ready to go. Okay, so there it goes, and it starts our browser, and it's showing us a report. Okay, so this is how we've used Radiant uh, before. Uh, we can generate these commands by using uh, the different uh, report icons, and then click knit and it's gonna generate the output for us. Okay, so in this case, we estimate a, a logistic regression, we estimate a neural network with, let's see, how many is it? With two nodes in the hidden layer, and then we do some model validation, sorry, uh, model evaluation, particularly we create a gains chart and a profit chart. Okay, all right, so that's all nice. Uh, we can save this to an HTML file, but now suppose I wanted to create a Word file out of this. How would I do that? Well, that's actually quite quite feasible, although you need our studio for that. So you notice I have two files open here in our studio. One is an R file for R code, and one is a markdown file. And you'll notice it says here Word document, and that's gonna allow me in a minute to create a Word document from the report that I have in Radiant. Okay, so let me just go back to Radiant. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stop Radiant by clicking on stop and then report to our studio. And basically what that's gonna do is just take the content of the report and plug that into our studio and then I can do a bunch of things in our studio with it. All right, so Radiant was stopped and we just we have this our markdown file open here and it just had this part uh, just now. Now it's copied and pasted the report in here. And so now if I click knit word and this will take a couple seconds so you're gonna uh, make a Word document for us that has the output from the logistic regression as well as the plots, right? And I can, of course, edit this the way I, I usually would, um, would edit a Word file, right? I can type in here and do whatever I want. Okay, so that's how you can create a Word file. Of course, you can also choose to make a PDF or an HTML file. The HTML file you can make in Radiant, so that's not as big of an advantage, but if you wanna make a Word file, you can do that here quite easily. All right, now suppose you really wanna go hardcore and you wanna actually just do some R coding. For that, you'll have to first tell R uh, where to get the data. Now, the data is actually already available here, 
So usually you do something like load, or in fact this is a, a function in Radiant called loader, um, that will load uh, state files or, or our data files for you. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm actually going to set up, uh, start up Radiant, and then set it up so that the code that it generates is going to be put into this R code file. All right. So we're back inside Radiant. Uh, and the way we've used kind of the, the report feature before is that you have auto paste, which would mean as soon as I click a report icon, it's going to paste the command right at the bottom of the report. I can set it to manual paste, in which case it'll put commands into the clipboard and then I can paste them wherever I want. Right? I could put them right here, let's say. And now these two options here are I can either put commands into an R markdown file or into an R file, right? So actually generate R code. So I'm going to do that. You notice it now says don't switch tab because there's no point in going to the report uh, tab at this point because it's going to take commands from reading directly and put them into R Studio into this file right here. All right, let's see if that actually works. Okay, so let's generate some code. Um, I don't know, let's make a, make a, a pivot tab, pivot table with a plot. All right, and let's put that into the report. Now I'm gonna click here on this report icon, but you'll see something at the top right of your screen. All right, so pay attention at the top right. It'll say putting our command in our studio. Hmm, let's see if that actually worked. Huh, there it is. So here's the R command that generated the pivot tab that you just looked at. Okay, so you'll have to have, um, and I'm not sure if we'll do that automatically, but let's just be safe. We'll have to say library radiant, because that'll load all the functions that radiant has. Uh, then we need to load the data, and then it's going to be able to run these commands. Now, right now, radiant is still running. So I would need to stop Radiant before I can actually run this code. Now, let's say I want to do something else as well. Um, oh yeah, let's put something about model performance in here. So these were the plots for the uh, predictions from the logistic regression and from the neural network. Um, and we have a training and validation sample. Let's do it for both. And let's do a profit chart. All right. Um, let's say margins are about 10, cost is 1, and so a profit chart would look something like that. Why not let's add also a gains chart, and let's take that code uh, that is generating those plots and put that into our studio again. So again, watch the top right of your screen when I click, putting our command into our studio. All right, so now I'm going to quit Radiant. I don't need the report to go to our studio because I've already put the commands directly there, so I'm just going to hit stop. And notice now that I have uh, the performance information and I have the pivot tab that I included. All that code from Radiant is right here. So if I want to run that, I can just click source. And there's going to be two plots in here. This is the plot that was part of the pivot tab. And here are the uh, profit and gains charts. Right, and here's the output. So rather than have to type in all this R code myself, I can have Radiant do it for me and interact in this way with RStudio. Okay, hope that helps.